A tweet is not a policy change. Shock and confusion after the president sent three tweets saying transgender people will not be allowed to serve, quote, in any capacity in the U.S. military. The tweet cited medical costs and disruption as factors that would weaken the military. LGBT activists say this opens the door for further discrimination and targeted harassment against transgender people. The trans uh, people in the community in the military are serving our country every day. They have the same rights as any, any all Americans. They should be judged on their qualifications. Nothing more, nothing less. Changing the policy would affect at least 8,000 transgender individuals who are serving openly in the military. A 2016 study by the Rand Corporation found that health care costs for transgender service members could be up to $8.4 million a year. The study commissioned by the Department of Defense determined that there would be little impact to service readiness for these individuals. They don't suddenly forget what it is to do the job. Monica Helms served in the U.S. Navy for eight years and founded the Transgender American Veterans Association in 2003. She says during her time in the military, her peers accepted her for who she was and still do to this day. We all did all the same work, and so they treat me as, as anybody else. Going forward, Helms says transgender service members should seek support from their communities and continue to persevere. Keep up hope. Keep hope. Because... Trump isn't going to be president forever. You will get back in the military if you want to. Now at this point, the Department of Defense has not updated its policy and the White House has not issued any statements as to how this may be carried out. In downtown Atlanta, Ashley Graham, Channel 2 Action News.